there welcome back to the studio so today I'm going to do a painting with nothing more than a chain pull you know the kind that you have on the bottom of your ceiling fan you pull it to turn off and on your lights yes a chain pull so stay tuned we're gonna play with this all right, so I'm going to start now with my canvas. I have prepared it by putting some tape on the back and push pins. Um, I have not sprayed this one. I don't think that I need to tighten this canvas. It's still, it's pretty small canvas and it feels just fine. So usually I would spray a canvas so that it would tighten up this fabric on here, or I would use the wood shims that they give you to tighten up my canvas but this one does not seem to need it so we're going to get started i'm going to try this camera angle I'm, you're kind of working over my shoulder so we'll see if i uh, can do this and <laughs> not get in the frame of the picture so the paints that i'm using today are just a little bit of white for the background and this is a craft white mixed with my Floetrol mix and then two deco art products not endorsing any particular product but if you'd like to have the same kinds of things this is a metallic a little bit thicker you'll see why in just a minute deco art green also and then a tiny bit of gold that i've mixed up i believe that this is a mixture of a couple different golds so I can't really tell you what brand that is but we're going to paint using these chain balls ball chains I'm not sure what they're called but strings made out of balls so let me get my gloves on trying to reuse gloves as much as possible all right so I'm going to get started by Covering my canvas with the white. There are going to be a little bit of bubbles. I like this small torch. I, I know there are other artists who have the giant torches. I have uh, the fear that I will cook my paint each time, so I feel like I have more control when I use the little ones. All right, for, so for this particular flower, my brother was talking the other day about... Um, painting some irises so he does watercolors and oils and all kinds of cool things like that and i am not that good at that kind of thing so i'm going to do these with the chain so you know an iris is kind of a little bit got lots of little blooms coming out so we'll do a couple side blooms there first and it's got a wavy leaf on it so it's gonna give it some purple to pull through now you can watch some artists that will dip their chains in their paint now that is one way of doing it this is another way get a little bit of gold to come through there a little top there all right let's bring those two leaves through i'm going to bring them into the middle Pull them down.
see I added some leaves to this. It'll take me some time to perfect this, but this was a fun experiment using a chain pool to make an iris.